of honor the Vice President. Uh, during the SEMA meeting in Lusaka last week, the Minister of Development Planning, Honorable Laki Mulusa, is quoted to have disparaged the procurement of 42 fire tenders by, by likening them to wheelbarrows. In his own ways, uh, compared to the ones uh, Liverpool City purchased at the same price. It is a belief of the people of Chimwemwe that cabinet sat and approved uh, this purchase, which you have since welcomed. And uh, the minister is bound by the principle of collective responsibility. Now, my question is, is the government considering asking the honorable minister to resign yeah, yeah. for going against the principle of collective responsibility? I thank you. Yeah. Her honor, the vice president. I regret that I was not privy to the statement that was made by Honorable Omulosa, but being what it is, and having received some reports regarding this, the statement that the minister has made, there are certain channels that we use in this government and in the party to discipline our erring ministers or members of parliament. Uh, under the Ministerial Code of Conduct, uh, this, this matter will be considered and under other uh, disciplinary measures that government will deem fit to apply in this particular situation. I thank you. President Lungu on Wednesday announced the termination of Honorable Laki Mulusa's service as National Planning Minister and the revocation of his nomination as a member of parliament. Amos Chanda, the State House spokesperson, made an announcement to the media. No reasons have been advanced by the State House spokesperson regarding the termination. However, of late, Mr. Mulusa has made certain comments which have not gone well within the government circles. For instance, on the burning issue of the 42 fire tenders recently acquired by government at a cost of 42 million US dollars, Mr. Mulusa had a different view when everyone in government was trying to defend what the Zambian people termed as wastage of national resources when the country was going through economic stress. We've created a function within our ministry to do appraisals for all the government's uh, investments. And if we, had, if we had done that a little bit earlier, before we were beaten by the, the, the awarding of the tender for the dollar to suck at your courage, perhaps we would have provided better explanations than the explanations that are coming out which seem contradictory and to the members of the general public which seem not to make sense. We could probably have even done an appraisal on fire tenders. <laughs> <laughs> Topical issue, eh? I see my colleagues struggling to justify it. <laughs> now we know Liverpool has this one million dollar machine, you know, uh, which when you, you see it on social media, and, and, and we, we look at ours, <laughs> it looks like a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Mr. Mulusa was quoted as saying that while well, he was at State House, investigations revealed that the power shortage and the energy crisis between 2015 and 2017 were caused by human incompetence at Zambezi River Authority and Zesco. Could this be a reason for his dismissal? Is having divergent view in government a crime? Could Mr. Mulusa have saved his job if he was a bootlicker? But anyway, uh, explanations have been given. Those bartenders were worth $1 million. As analyzed by Francis Mwambakope, CBC News.